happy Thursday. I hope everybody had an awesome Thursday. Today is December 20th and I am finally doing a video on my experience in Chesapeake Hall. Oh my goodness. I have, I've been, I originally said I was going to do this video on the last day of classes and then I pushed it to after finals and then I pushed it to when I got home. So it's like, it's been delayed. I needed to wait to see like what was going to happen. But you know, I'm finally ready to do this video. So a little bit of backstory. I am a, ooh, a junior. I can finally say junior now. I'm a junior at Salisbury University. This was my first semester. I transferred in from PGCC. Um, and I was at this weird middle ground between sophomore and junior, which is why I got to live on campus my first semester. And also because I wanted to experience having a roommate, you know, all that fun stuff. So I lived in Chesapeake Hall. And the way Chesapeake Hall is set up, if you haven't seen my other video about, you know, Chesapeake Hall tour, it is an apartment, but it's not a nice apartment with like carpet and like your own room and stuff like that. That's other places. You walk in, it's a bathroom on this side, a bathroom on this side, two double rooms, two double rooms, and it's four to the bathroom, and then the whole apartment, so all of the eight women that were in there, we share the seating area and we share the kitchen and the dining area. It was a really big apartment, so the issue wasn't space. It was plenty of space in there for all of us. The issue was some other things, and we're going to go over the pros and cons. And, you know, let me start by saying I'm not trying to make enemies with this video. If you lived with me in Chesapeake all this semester, don't think I'm talking about you or something like that. I mean, if the shoe fits, wear it, but I'm not trying to make enemies. I'm just literally trying to come out and talk about my experience and pros and cons for somebody else who may want to live there. So now that we got that off, the, now that we got that out the way, let's talk about my experience of living in this on-campus housing that all eight of us paid thirty-eight hundred dollars for per semester. I'll put the actual number down here, but thirty-eight hundred dollars multiplied by eight people—that's that's a lot of money for where we were living. It's just, it's crazy. All right, let's start with the pros. So one of the pros of living in Chesapeake Hall is there's no carpet. I know I just said that you know it's not one of those nice apartments that have the carpet and everything because you know I mean I do like carpet but carpet is harder to clean if you spill stuff on the ground and you get it on the carpet you gotta like <laughs> you know what I'm saying I mean, you gotta like scrub and stuff like that whereas if you spill it on a flat you know hard well it's not hardwood but if you spill it on like a harder surface they out there yelling if you spill it on a harder surface you know it's easier to just wipe it up not that the people in my apartment ever did that, but you know, it's just, it's easier to clean. Another pro is that there's lockable doors, but I kind of crossed that off because I was just trying to be funny. It's like Dior was helping me like do this video. Shout out to you, Dior. That was my roommate. And she was like, I was like, give me some pros about living in Chesapeake Hall. And we kind of joked around. We were like, oh, there's three floors available. Oh, there's lockable doors. Like pretty much all the dorms have that because <laughs> we were trying to find stuff. But all right, uh, no carpet. <laughs> I said there's walls. <laughs> It's not that hard finding pros. Um, it's a cheaper apartment style. So what I mean by that, okay, as I was saying, um, it's a cheaper apartment style. So what I mean by that is it's it's a handful of other apartments in the area, like in the Wicomico County, like Salisbury area that you can live in. You can live in University Orchard, which is where I really wanted to live. But that is the most expensive apartment, you know, you could live in. You have UP, which is... I mean, none of them are cheap, you know, they're all expensive. So, uh, all right, no more interruptions. So if I could continue, it's a cheaper apartment style. So I was talking about University Orchard, how it's really nice, but it's the, it's the expensive option, like the most expensive option there. You have University Village, it's this blue apartment building. That's like out in the cut, I didn't really like that. Cause unless you have a car, it's gonna be like, I mean, there's a shuttle that goes around to there, so never mind. I was gonna say, unless you have a car, it's like it's like kind of out in the cut. You have University Park, which is where I'm gonna be living next fall. Uh, Lord willing, I will have a good apartment mate. Um, you have Seagull Square, which is on campus housing, but it's like an apartment style. Seagull Square is when I did my math, it's cheaper than University Orchard, which is where I wanted to live, but it's more expensive than University Park. Now they're all expensive and they're all like around the same price, but you know, I gotta save money where I can save money. <laughs> so 
yeah um if you still want an apartment style you don't mind having a roommate and you also you know don't want to break your budget you know chesapeake hall is good for that because as a sophomore you can live in seagull square if you don't mind having your own room and like a bed that takes up half the room and it's just you know i mean you know it is what it is but uh yeah it is cheaper it's a nice size which is what i said and then the location is really good it's located right next to the library which i really got used to when i want to go in there and like study or get some coffee and stuff like that really convenient if you have a class or your majors in conway or fulton it's right next to those buildings which is good and also if you want to walk off campus really quick to go to cvs or the chapato or the uh, dollar general easier access right over there so the location is good for that but if you're trying to get to commons it's all the way on the other side of campus, which is why half the time I feel like going to comments because it's just, oh my goodness, it's all the way over there. And I think that's one of the cons. Well, no, it's not one of the cons, but that's just, location is good depending on like what you want. So, yes, those are the pros. Now let's go to the cons. Uh, the first con I have right here are roommates, and I'm going to come and talk about that later. But I guess one of the cons... I put down here that the bathroom is small um the bathroom was small but it wasn't like I mean it wasn't like teeny tiny I mean I'm not I mean I'm not sure what you expect for a college bathroom I mean it was small but you had your toilet in there even though it wasn't a toilet seat like I was kind of shook when I first walked in I was like oh my goodness there's no toilet seat don't take toilet seats for granted y'all oh my goodness um the water pressure wasn't that great the sink would get stopped up a lot uh the shower it was yeah the shower was small never mind yeah this bathroom was small <laughs> so if you are really tall or you're really curvy you know you're gonna probably have some issues in there you know what i'm just saying because yeah that that shower was yeah i'm gonna have to say it was small but it was you know it, it was okay for one semester and then I put down here that maintenance comes once a week. Um, I guess if you lived on Salisbury's campus as a freshman, you're probably going to be used to like maintenance coming, uh, what, what was it, like every other day? No, 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 no. Chesapeake, they come, I think, once a week. So don't be so used to people coming up and cleaning up after you because no, 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 maintenance comes once a week. You're going to be the main person in charge of cleaning your apartment, which is what we're going to get to later. Um, another con I put down here was a fire drill. Uh, all buildings have to do fire drills, which is why I'm shocked. I, I mean, I'm not really sure why I put that down as a con, because all buildings have to go through fire drills. It's just that Chesapeake Hall had a fire drill when it was raining very hard outside, and it was flooding, and the water was up to my knees. I'm never forgetting that. I am never going to forget that. That was a crazy night. Oh my goodness, crazy night. But, yeah, I mean, all buildings have to go through the fire drills, and it's common that they do the fire drills when it's like... You know least the best time not the best time so you know it is what it is and then the number one con is going to be roommates like I like I said earlier I'm not trying to I'm not trying to make enemies but this could easily be a pro if you have roommates that clean and that are respectful of the other seven people living in the apartment it becomes a con when they're not so uh, I'm not, you know, calling out names or something like that, but you know, if the shoe fits, wear it. But I have some pictures in my phone, pictures that I took because I knew at the beginning of the semester that I wanted to do this video. So let me talk about the number one con. This is a picture of some toilet paper that I put in the bathroom. And this is a picture like 30 minutes later. No, I'm just joking. It wasn't 30 minutes later, but I mean, the toilet paper kind of went extremely fast. I'm not sure. I guess it could have been because it's four of us to a bathroom. Compared to here, it's two of us to a bathroom, so it's like, I don't know if, I, I don't know, like, is that typically how fast toilet paper goes when it's four people to one bathroom? I just felt like it went extremely quickly. I'm, I'm just sitting here like, I just put that toilet paper out, and now it's gone. And I would always look over at our neighbors and, like, look at their toilet paper, and it just didn't seem like their toilet paper was leaving as fast as our, ours was leaving. So, halfway through the semester, I did something very petty. See, I'm not trying to say I was innocent in there as well, but I went to the Dollar General. I spent, I think, $12, and I got a big old case of toilet paper, and I kept it right in my closet. 
I know, I know, but it was just, y'all don't understand, like the toilet paper was going so fast and it's just, I needed to have my stash just in case. It was just leaving so fast and it's, you know, I know. Slap on the wrist, slap on the wrist. Um, number, uh, another thing that was kind of problemsome, uh, you see this picture? Um, yeah, so this was taken on September 18th at 6.02 p.m. And that was our trash can. I, I guess nobody wanted to take it out and so they decided to do this art very creative you know uh, an art mountain of trash that's that's what we're doing here L or maybe it's a game yeah maybe they were playing a game you know let's see how tall we can stack up the trash let's see how many cups we can line across the counter and, I, and I'm gonna say it again I'm not trying to insult people but but that is so trifling mm -hmm. so then eventually we had like a list, like a trash schedule, like this is your week to take it out, this is your week to take it out. That worked for the most part up until the end of the semester when the list was kind of gone or like it ended and then we go right back to nobody taking it out. And it's just, come on y'all. I know none of us want to do it. I know we're all busy. I know we don't want to mess up our cute little nails and stuff, but it's just y'all. If we're going to use the trash can, you got to clean it, you got to take it out. And then like here's another picture. Like, take out the trash means take out the trash. It doesn't mean take it out and set it right next to the trash bin. It means take it out. And this will be a good time to add that I never really used the kitchen. This was my first semester, so I didn't really, like, want to... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess you could say, like, I just... I wanted to keep things easy and have, like, a meal plan and stuff like that. Like, I didn't mind having a meal plan. I didn't want to, like, solely just cook in the, cli in the kitchen. And it worked out, because even if I wanted to, I wouldn't have had any space to. But, you know, uh... Yeah, I didn't really use the kitchen that much. Um, the only time I, the only thing I really go in there and use is the microwave, which I made sure was cleaned out if I ever made a mess in there. And I would put some stuff in the fridge, and I would use the water picture, which I would always fill up after it was empty. So those are the three things I would use, but I would never like cook on a stove and stuff like that, or I never brought like any silverware and plates and stuff. Like none of that is mine. So yeah, we're gonna get to that later. It's the reason why I said that. So here's another picture I took. This actually does not look that bad. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so, you know, just dishes being left in the sink. Got in, got in our little group chat twice. Hey, can y'all wash your dishes? Ignored. It starts to stink like right in this area and I'm just sitting there like, y'all, stop, stop wanting people to clean up after you, okay? Like, you gotta clean up after yourself. It takes a few minutes to just rinse out your dish when you're done. But you know, um, this is the stove, you know, dirty, it was hair on there at the end of the semester when I had to go back and clean up after everybody. We'll talk about that later. Uh, what else? Um, stuff left on the counter. You see stuff like this. Uh, oh, I took a picture of the floor. I see a little cheese wrapper right there. Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, floor not being swept. We're just kind of throwing stuff around. You know, carpet not really being swept. I'm looking at these pictures like, oh, Lord. I have a video right here. What's this? Uh, it's just a video of the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah. So instead of taking out the trash, <laughs> they like took it out and like put it right next to the trash. And then they made like a little makeshift trash bag over there. Like, because we're just so against taking it out. Like, I'm saying this and I'm starting to get a little bit upset. It's like, wow, y'all, wow. So um, then I made this video at the end of the semester. So I'll be right back. I want y'all to watch this video I made on Tuesday with my phone. So the reason why I delayed the Chesapeake haul video is because I was trying to see like how this was going to work out. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not trying to sneak this at every single last person in here, but I'm just saying, what is this? Like, bye, bye Dior, it was a pleasure rooming with you. Anyway, like what is this? Like there's actual hair on the stove. Like what? Look at all these dishes. None of these are mine. Like I didn't bring any dishes with me this semester. It's just... I was trying to see where they're going to wash their dishes before everybody left and no nobody did now this is like a broken record throughout the whole video but I know what y'all are going to say Alexis y'all should have said something to him and it's just I know that is where I went wrong as I've been saying but y'all if you're going to live here in Chesapeake Hall all y'all got to clean you got to keep the kitchen clean you got to get your trash clean just y'all can't just be in here being dirty it's eight people in here eight people and by the way that hasn't been swept I, I can just look at that and tell so 
yeah, this is my last day living here. I'm now the last person here. So, you know, chalk it up to experience. So yeah, I said some stuff in that video that actually I guess I should mention on. Um, obviously it was somebody in our apartment who just left the place a mess, but by all means it was not every single last person in there. You know, like I said, it's just that the shoe fits wear it, but I'm not trying to sneak this and like cause issues and stuff. It's just, this is the reality of living in Chesapeake Hall. And you know, y'all, this is what it could become if y'all don't clean. And this isn't the messiest apartment I've ever seen in my life. Like I have seen some disaster zones, but this wasn't good. And we tried putting messages in the group chat, you know, hey, you need to clean, but I guess that hadn't worked out. So DR and I were talking about, you know, what needs to happen for next semester. I suggested maybe put up some notes you know, maybe we need to talk face to face, but one thing that I believe I did wrong is I should have been a little bit more open with the communication. Like I said, we texted in the group chat, but sometimes that doesn't work. You know, people have group chats muted. So I think my communication needed some work because I should have spoke to them like, hey, please clean, you know, but that's like a personality flaw of mine. It's like when it comes to like, you know, having to speak up and stuff like that. It just doesn't work. And this is a picture of me after I was done cleaning up everybody's dishes. Because the way that works out, if you leave out of your apartment and there's dishes still in the sink, everybody gets fined. So I was trying to wait and see where people were really going to leave all their dishes for me to wash it of all people when I didn't even bring any dishes here. They did. Didn't shock me. So I had to go through and wash everybody's dishes, wash everybody's dishes. Uh, I wiped off the stove. I wiped off the counter. And I shouldn't have to do that because it wasn't my best so yeah that ends out my rant about Chesapeake Hall it's a good place to live I like the location the price is doable you know for you know compared to I guess other apartments in the area um I had a really good roommate Dara was awesome but um you just have to you and your roommates gotta y'all got to clean in there and the funny thing is like we did our roommate contract in the beginning of the semester that's where you sit down and like you sign uh you know what time you want guests over and stuff like that or like you know all that roommate contract and it just kind of felt like I had to move up a ugh, I had to move to a section of my room it doesn't have as great lighting because this camera has been cutting off after like five seconds and I'm just sitting here talking to myself so I have it right here if you see me looking over there I'm just trying to see is it still recording so yeah what was I talking about um, we were talking to, we were talking about the roommate contract um, basically I was saying how I feel like it just got breached like nobody was taking out the trash as needed and it's just I felt like we were just kind of in there talking you know just because you know that's what we're supposed to do but and nobody was gonna do anything because I was looking at them like during the roommate contract and I was like are y'all really gonna do all that and the answer was no um so let's see moving into Chesapeake Hall it's not a bad living situation um it has a good location it's a cheaper apartment option it's definitely not bad it's just y'all gotta clean and be courteous of each other like you're Loud friends maybe don't have to be over at 12 midnight if they're gonna be loud. Like, don't assume that everybody's a night out. Okay, some people like me like sleep. All right, so um, let's see. Uh, just remember these three C's. When you're moving into Chesapeake, you have to be clean and courteous. All right, just remember those three C's, and you will have an awesome time in Chesapeake. It wasn't bad. Like one of my other friends, shout out to you, sir. She's thinking about moving into Chesapeake, and I was like, oh, are you sure? But she says she's trying to like. Get her friends together and they're all gonna do it and I was like that might be a better option you know cuz then you can make sure everybody's you know clean cuz there's you, you know I mean they're your friends and moving in with your friends is you know a good option you know cuz everybody just yeah uh, just be called wasn't bad but just remember those three C's and you'll be alright so I was bugging y'all for a while like hey if you have any questions ask me in my Google Doc so I'm about to go see if I got any questions did I get at least one Oh my gosh, 23! Oh, that's that's a good number! I'm, I'm kind of shocked, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of shocked. So, um, let's go through them. Uh, yeah, so they're gonna ask them in order. So let's start with number one. Would you join a sorority or are you already a part of one? Um, I did want to join a sorority, but as the semester went on, I got like 
over it in a sense. I wanted to draw like one of the divine nines. I know it's like some sort of unwritten rule that you're not supposed to say that you want to join them. Okay, I mean, no other sororities are like that, but you know, whatever. I want to join the, the, uh, the Divine Nine. I'm not going to say, like, which one, just in case, you know, I decide later that I want to do it. But, you know, I mean, they had, like, the different, like, Greek life cookouts and stuff. And I would always get close to the frat guys and close to the sorority girls. And I can never get over there, you know. I'm not, it's like it was an invisible block. Like, I would try to get close to the Greek life, and then it would be, like, something right there, like, nah, Alexis, like, and it would just kind of, you know, prevent me from, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I wanted to, but now I'm not sure, so, I don't know. Maybe I won't join the Sarai, Sarai 9, maybe I won't join the Divine 9, maybe I'll do, like, a service fraternity, like, what my other friend is in, like, that may be something I should do, I don't know, I mean, I still got another year to decide this, but if I don't, then... Not that serious. I'd rather have a degree from a school than say I was part of a sorority. What is the best dorm hall? Um, I've only been there one semester. I've only ever lived in Chesapeake, and Chesapeake's not. Oh my goodness, it's not bad. It's not good. It's the apartment with eight people in there. Depends on y'all. St. Martin is the motel, and it's called the motel because you walk in. And it's your room. So you walk in from the outside and then boom, it's your room. Like, you know how the motels are? That's exactly how St. Martin is. And the sink, it's like a sink, a bathroom sink in your room. And then your bathroom is connected to the other room. So it's a really weird setup. That was another one of my options for coming to campus. I could have lived in St. Martin, Siegel, UP, uh, Chesapeake. And I chose Chesapeake. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, uh, St. Martin I don't think is that great. If you're coming in as a freshman and you're staying in the quad, so the quad is Nanticoke, Minokin, I was calling it Mannequin for a long time. Uh, Wicomico? Is that what this is called? Wicomico Hall? I'm, I'm gonna be looking like an idiot if it's not. And then there's Pokemoke. The quad is really nice. I've been in my friend's room who lives in the freshman quads. Like, those are nice. Like, really nice. <laughs> really nice, actually. You have the high-rises, um... I've never been in one of those rooms. I've seen like the the showroom that they have on the first floor. I think those are triples. Like the showroom on the first floor is a triples. So I'm assuming those are triples and it's like, I don't know. I mean, they're high rises. Supposedly they weren't great last semester or last year, but they're good this year because they got renovated. So sure. Uh, that's on campus housing. You have Seagull Square. That's the expensive apartment where it's for y'all in there. Your bed, take up half the room. Um, UP is the apartment of apartment complex around the corner it's still considered on campus housing even though it's off campus housing which is weird that's where i'll be living uh lord willing uh let's see they have two by twos in there four by fours so yeah i guess to answer your question what's the best dorm hall i'm not sure it depends on it's gonna be what you make it like chesapeake hall could have been okay if you know i did a whole video on that it's just, it, it could have been okay but you know what do the other dorms look like um Chesapeake Hall, eight people, two double rooms is the apartment. St. Martin is a double room, your bathroom, double room. You walk outside and then psh, there's a room, which is why I wasn't sure about it. It's a motel. The Quad, Nanticoke, Pokemoke, White Comical Hall, I think. Pokemoke, those are freshman dorms. They're nice and carpeted. It's like a double room connected to a bathroom. You got the other double room on the other side. Those are nice. I like those. The high rises, not entirely sure. They might be triples, might be doubles. I'm not sure if they have carpet in there. I'm not sure. Seagull Square, four people in an apartment. Calling my name. <laughs> four people in an apartment. Uh, bed, take up half your room. If you don't mind that, there you go. If you want a little bit more space, it's not very, the room's kind of tight. UP, um, same thing as Seagull, but you have the option of getting a 2x2, two two, which is where I'll be living, and a 2x2, two two, Lord willing. Uh, you also get your own bathrooms if you get a 2x2. Two two. You can also get a 2x1, a 4x4, four four, a 4x2. Four but yeah, that's that's how the other dorms look. And I can all I, I, I can always link like stuff down in the description if you want to go see like actual pictures. Because right now I'm just describing them, but you know there are pictures on the website. Number four, what do you like most and least about Chesapeake Hall? I said that. Um, what did I say about most? I have a little list. What I like most about it, the location, like I said, uh, I liked how it didn't have carpet because the floors are easier to clean even though nobody in there did it. Uh, what I liked least, 
so many roommates it was a few too many roommates for me how did you choose your roommate or did you so you have an option in your portal to suggest if you want like a certain roommate I know there are people in my apartment who did that I personally didn't I just went in blind and they put me with Dior you do a roommate questionnaire but I'm starting to think that the roommate questionnaires are fake because I can put down all I want to that I'm neat and tidy and they will easily pair me up with somebody who is not neat and tidy so you do the roommate questionnaire you have the option of going in blind you have the option of put you know suggesting a roommate I personally went in blind. Number six, were you allowed to have overnight guests? Did you have any? What about your apartment mates? Um, that was one of the questions for the roommate. Oh man, I think there was a question on there that was very similar to this question. Like, are we going to have overnight guests? Basically, sure, you can. I personally did not have any overnight guests over. My apartment mates, yeah, they did because I'm hearing them all night. So you can, but just remember that third C, you know, courteous, let's just be quiet. Number seven, how did you divvy up the chores? <laughs> how did we divvy up the chores? So basically, with the trash, we had a trash schedule. This week, Susie Q do it. This week, Becky does it. This week, Dior does it. You know, like we had it divvied up like that. Um, that was good, except one week I accidentally took out the trash for somebody else's week, and it got a little confusing because, you know, my fault, but, um, yeah, we had our schedules, um, it wasn't any divvying up those dishes because they sure did sit there, we're going to have to do that for next semester, and our apartment mates over on this side had like a schedule for their trash can in the bathroom, which I thought that was a good idea, don't ask me how I know that they had a trash schedule in there, but, um, yeah, I, I would say schedules are the best thing like that worked out good um for the most part but yeah i guess it only worked semi good because you know yeah number eight how often did your roommates go home um dior went home pretty much every weekend she was it was maybe one i can't say she would go home every other weekend because she was going home more than that she w she went home almost every weekend because she works on the weekends you know when you need money you need money my other roommates, I'm not entirely sure when, how often they would go home, but the issue with the noise and like this, you know, people coming over who are loud, that's not like an everyday thing, so it's not like every day with somebody in there who was loud, but it was maybe once a week or once every other week I'm hearing somebody who's really loud, so I'm assuming everybody else probably would go home once a month or something like that. I don't know. I mean, I knew I would go home about once a month because... You know, I paid to get on this bus, you know, it's a long story. But yep, that's that question. Number nine, did you live with morning people or night people? Night people. Whew, this goes for Dior too. Dior could stay up half the night. It's just, oh my goodness. I thought I put on my roommate questionnaire that I go to bed early and they, yeah. Everybody else in there? Night people, night people, night people. This is what I'm saying, that roommate questionnaire, I'm not sure. I think that's a little bit fake because it's like, Okay, it's midnight, 1 a.m. I'm about to go to bed because I gotta wake up tomorrow morning. Oh, you're still up? Oh, you're playing music? Oh, you're shouting at each other when y'all are five feet from each other? Okay, yeah. I was definitely living with night people. Any parties at your place this semester? So there was this really awkward thing that happened. Like, it was two awkward things that happened. Um, in the beginning of the semester, two of my apartment mates were, like, having a dance party in the middle of the room like in the middle of the living room and they said where are we decorating and stuff like that like they were saying and i was like ha, 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 ha. so that i guess you could call that a little party they were playing their their music loudly and stuff like that um you know it was another time where one of the girls it was her birthday so they all kind of like gathered in the living room and were kind of shouting at each other and so um i guess the answer to that would be no like no like legit parties as you're thinking of but it was occasions where there's music being played out there loudly and you know they're you know, <laughs> you know kind of and i'm just like you know introverting my way back in the corner like this and i'm like all right y'all have fun with that because yeah n no thank you question number 11 uh where did you and your roommates fall on the neatness spectrum <laughs> I'm done.
If zero is right here for we were messy and 10 is right here for we were clean, we're back. No, no, I'm just, I'm just joking. So we were maybe a solid 3.5 because like I said, this wasn't the worst living situation. There are some other apartments that I've seen where they're just atrociously messy. So they weren't horrible. But when there's dishes in the sink and it's starting to smell and the trash can looks like this, like the, I'm never forgetting about that. Like this picture is, is remaining in my phone forever so I can just, it, it's just going to remain in my phone. Um, and the trash is looking like that and you know counters not being wiped and there's hair on the stove for some reason. That's not clean. So, you know, uh, a solid 3.5 because they were, certain people were messy but you know it's just, it wasn't the worst it could have been. Number 12. What were some of the things that your roommates brought to the apartment that you really appreciated having? Mini fridge, microwave, vacuum, etc. So, Dior had a mini fridge in her room. Shout out to you, Dior. Thank you for letting me use your mini fridge, even though I took it over a few times this semester because I was always putting food in there. But mini fridge is definitely helpful. If you don't have like a mini fridge like just lying around your house that you can bring, you can rent them from the school. I think they're like $100 a semester or 50 or somewhere in that range mini fridges are very helpful uh microwave yes because that's what i would use microwaves uh nobody brought a vacuum i showed you a picture of that carpet and nobody was bringing no vacuums i brought a broom a broom is helpful if just use it what else did they bring um people brought blenders coffee makers like oh man like y'all see this curry y'all see that curry right there yeah i brought that uh helpful i made a cup of coffee every morning i need my coffee that's helpful to have what else um bring as many trash cans as you can because i think one of the reasons with that trash we needed more than one so if you could bring like two at least like trash trash cans that'll be good at least maybe even three would be good but just yeah trash cans helpful stuff like that number 13 did you have a space to study in your apartment or anywhere in chesapeake hall so some people would study at the dining room table like I know Dior will go out there sometimes or you, you know you can study in your living area me personally I'm not going out there because I don't want to see you know people's boyfriends coming in and out so I would go down to the Chesapeake Hall lounge and I would just chill and study in there sometimes people will come in and out and I would chat with them and stuff like that so that's a good spot to study number 14 were you able to control the temperature was the temperature to your liking I like your big blanket by the way thank you my aunt got me this this thing yeah I love that blanket y'all from winter so yes you're yes and no so basically there is an AC in your room you can control it but I feel like they're controlling it in a way too because I don't know man Dior and I were talking about this um so it's cold outside so what am I trying to say sometimes you try to turn the AC or like the heat up and it won't really go up all the way or sometimes in the summer when you're trying to turn the AC on and it doesn't really go down as cold as you would like it that's why I'm thinking there is one in there that you can control but then again, I think it's like a master switchboard somewhere else where really the resident director is controlling it. But then again, somebody put that heater on in our apartment, put that joint on high, 90 degrees. I stepped out the room, the heat just slapped me in the back of the face. Oh my goodness, I don't, it's hot. Like, so, I don't know. On one side, I feel like we're in control of it, but we're really not. And then on the other side, it's like, when that heat hit me, it's like, oh man, that heater works. Like it, it works. Was it to my liking? For the most part, yeah. Sometimes, um, especially when you turn the AC off and there's no air circulation, it would get like really stuffy in the room. So it's like, you know, try to keep it on as much as you can because, eh. Number 15, please show us the bathrooms. Give us a tour of the kitchen also. I will link that video. It'll either be here if I figure out how to do that or I'll put it in the description. Cause I did like an apartment tour and that's where y'all will see the kitchen and y'all will see the bathrooms. You will see all that. Number 16, is there any storage space? So in the living room area, there's this door that I showed in the tour video where you could put stuff in there. In your closet, your closets are like crazy tall. So I could fit in there easily and like spread my arms like 
out like this and then you have like a shelf you have another shelf up there you got another shelf your beds are lofted so you can put you know bins and stuff underneath your bed your desk has drawers so yes there's plenty of storage but try not to pack like your whole room because i said i wasn't going to pack my whole room and for some reason i packed my whole room i'm not sure what happened number 17 were pets allowed no but you can have a fish okay let me just be real they're gonna say no and that you can have a fish no i'm not even gonna snitch pets are not allowed except for a fish don't be trying to bring any small dogs in here i'm trying to do that now number 18 was there any privacy in the apartment or room there is privacy in the room it's just you and your roommate and you know it's privacy the apartment um i guess you could say there's privacy i mean the door is locked if that's what you're asking but i can't control like which guests they bring over so you know it's always gonna be somebody else in there with you basically so there's privacy in a sense but then it's not in a sense because it's eight of you in the apartment and you have a roommate so it's like eh i guess the answer is no for that <laughs> except if your roommate going home or if nobody's in the apartment there'll be privacy in there but you know it's always gonna be somebody in there Number 19, if you had to do it again, would you stay at Chesapeake Hall? No. Is there another dorm that you would live... Is there another dorm that you would choose? Um, I was thinking about this. I would probably choose to just... Gosh. Because I was thinking about maybe should I have just came in and stayed at Seagull Square, like just stay there. But I don't think they have semester-long leases. I think their leases were 12 months. And I'm not going to be there next semester, so it's like, I don't know. And then I was thinking about Dogwood. Dogwood is like the trailer homes. And like, you have your own room, but you share the bathroom with your floor. So it's like, I'm trying to think maybe I should have just done Dogwood or something. I'm not sure. I know my instinct wants me to say, heck no, I would have never done Chesapeake again. But I don't know. I mean, it wasn't, it was good experience. <laughs> I guess if there was another dorm that I would have chose, I probably would have chose Dogwood. I know that's weird, but just, you know, it's a semester and just probably Dogwood. And I would have been doing another video on Dogwood or something similar to this. So, you know, probably Dogwood. Um, where do you plan to live after your semester in Ireland? University Park, Lord willing, that's where I applied to. That's the apartments around the corner. I applied for a two by two. So it'll be me and my apartment mate. We have our own bathrooms and our own rooms and we just share the kitchen and living area. I'm hoping because it'll just be us two, then it won't be a horrible mess. But then again, we're gonna see, right? We're gonna see. Number 20, uh, is number 19 and number 20 the same? Okay, looks like it. Number 21, any rodents in Chesapeake Hall? No, but let me tell you where there are some, where there are some rodents. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Um, geez, maybe I shouldn't say that. Uh, I saw some roaches and some eating establishments on campus. That's all I will say. That's all I'm gonna say. Number 22, are there quiet hours? So, you go through that when you do your roommate your roommate contract. Y'all talk about, you know, after which hour do you want it to be quiet? And for some reason, it was a 4 a.m. time frame floating around in the air, and I'm like, 4 a.m.? 12 midnight, maybe, would be nicer? But, you know, if the consensus is 4 a.m., then it was just 4 a.m., and I should've spoke up and said, 12 midnight, okay uh-uh i don't want to hear people at 3 a.m 12 midnight so there are but y'all have to like come up with that when you do your roommate agreement and what else uh during finals week it is 24 hour quiet hour. that's why i loved finals week in chesapeake so much because i was like 24 hour quiet hours yes and number 23 was anything that you owned stolen this is why this experience in Chesapeake Hall wasn't horrible because none of my items were stolen. Not from my apartment mates, not from Dior, and nobody stole anything of mine. So that was really, really good. I know there are roommates that exist that steal your stuff. And it's kind of like, don't touch my stuff. But um, yeah, that's the end of this video. My experience in Chesapeake Hall, pros and cons, Q&A sort of thing. It was a lot of fun. Thank y'all for watching. And um, yeah, the next video, geez, when am I going to do a next one? I don't know. I'm hoping I won't have to do something like this again. I'm hoping my, you know, living establishments from here on out will just be excellent. But, you know, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video up. And I will talk to y'all another day.
Bye-bye. Hello, happy Wednesday. I hope everybody had an... I'm gonna have to actually leave. Put that iron to your school. Put the iron to my school. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. no. I, I, I'm, I'm cutting that part out. Bye. <laughs>